farm and now we're heading out to the field. And the first thing we're gonna be picking is zucchini. Joel, come on, we don't have all day, let's go. If you get up before 10 o'clock, we wouldn't be able to be at this all done already. <laughs> Everyone loved learning that you're a zucchini master, Dad. Are these zucchini? I like yellow. Squash. Oh, squash. I like this family, you know. Shifted gears on the track and twisted me and hurt my back. I'll have you know. You can see the way they're looking so healthy. It's yellow. When it comes to zucchini, we raise two types. We raise a green zucchini and a yellow, and then we also raise a yellow squash. Out of those three types of cucurbits, the green zucchini is the most popular, but the yellow squash is also very popular. I like now the yellow so squash much. plants like produce so a lot, so we don't raise too many of them. And the yellow zucchini isn't as popular as you think it would be, even though it looks. You know, one day I went to, I took the train and I went to one of the farm. So far, I don't remember the train station where I ended up, but uh, it was inside the greenhouse and it was looking so, they, I mean, they were looking so amazing. The greenhouse was so big, it was looking so big and nice. So uh, the way I see the condition is like the same because uh, I see the growth of the of the plants. They are so uh, healthy and, and even inside the, um, uh, the greenhouse was looking the same thing. So. I think maybe the climate condition is very nice and they try to manage so much. Yeah, that's why they look, even outdoor farm is looking the same as indoor farm. It's really cool. Andrew, in your expertise, what's the difference between yellow zucchini and green zucchini? It's Color. Like yellow zucchini is not so popular. Whenever I have zucchini at home, it's only the green Attraction. zucchini with the yellow zucchini mixed together. Why are you saying there's no difference when you ate both of them at the same time? You should. Yes, please go back to one of my video that I uh, I uploaded before. It's, it's talking about the colors of fruits and veggies. So you will see why 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 we can get yellow zucchini and green zucchini. It's all about the pigment pigmentations of uh, pigments of chemicals uh, that is available in the in the in the plant. It can lead the plant to turn the colors. So this is like a fruit veggies is and yeah that's only the, that's the only uh reason why they're changing color and because of their colors they have they have different uh advantages more than the type of plant like this is green and the other one is yellow yellow has a lot of beta carotene vitamin a to be able to tell the difference i know the yellow ones are saltier <laughs> but i might just because they're seasoned so I don't know why we sell more of the green zucchini, we just do. Yeah, even me, I like green zucchini. We finished harvesting the zucchini, we ran out of baskets, so, Joel is, <laughs> so Joel is carrying these How bags. Is this? Andrew's side. Telling the facts. It's a big farm. We finished off that planting of zucchini over there, and now we're gonna pick what we need out of this planting. We got finished off with zucchini and we need some peppers. The first of those peppers oh. that we need are long hots. Green peppers. Wow. I was working under uh, one of the company, which is Sevilla. Uh, we were doing this, a lot of them. Yeah, we were cultivating these long peppers. You have peppers. to be very careful when you're picking these long hot peppers, especially yeah. in the morning when it's nice and crisp because these peppers break very easily. Yeah, very easy, they're so tender. I like farm, how about you? <laughs> yeah, you can see if it's just like a farming that you do at your home place. You don't need to buy to go and buy at supermarket. I think we have three picked and we need five. This is a big farm, you see dad, uh, Green, green sons there. Look how many peppers are on this one plant, guys. Isn't that unbelievable? This has been a really good harvest year for peppers. Uh, the thing is, a lot of people are having a good harvest year for peppers, so the prices aren't too high, which is good for the customers. Yeah, sure. So the only thing that, uh, because this is like harvesting, and harvesting it has uh, the procedures. Like you have to to determine your uh, 
edible part that you're going to harvest first uh, <coughs> and when you harvest uh, there are some plants that when you 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 harvest you harvest you have to reduce some parts of the plants like leafy leafy parts because they have no use anymore because uh, more leaves it can uh, cause the, uh, more growth of the maybe if we have fruity veggies they can grow much so we have to maintain but in either way you have to know the edible parts that you're going to harvest because if they are so tender you have to to don't go so fast because if you you break them there's no use for the market anymore and the quality will be reduced the other thing is um you have to take those which have already uh, matured yep that is the importance like there are some which is not already matured they're still growing you have to determine the centimeter that you are, you, you require to harvest yeah the big the looking of the fruit then you left the immature uh, edible parts to the another harvesting time We've got five baskets of these long hots. They have a really nice color to them. And I think last time we picked these, Gavin ate one and he said they were pretty hot. So that means they have good flavor. While we were finishing yeah. up the peppers, Daniel was getting some tomatoes and they look really, really nice. Zucchini, peppers, wow. There's quads down there. These were the tomatoes that Daniel yeah, picked and then we got the long hots. We actually got six baskets of long hots. Now we're moving on to a different type of pepper. We're going to be picking the green bell. Yeah, green bell. There are different colors of these peppers. Yellow, red, green. I like green because when I grow, uh, when I was growing up, my mom was used to, to cook green peppers. Look at this plant. There is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven peppers. Yeah. And I can only take you see? this one off because this one's big enough. Big enough and it's already matured well enough. Wow, the climate condition is very amazing here. Ah, the soil is very, very nice. It shows there is uh, a lot of fertility. Holy moly. Look at this pepper. Wow, B. Look at these peppers we just got. They are giant. The other thing is variety. You have to determine the variety that you're going to take to plant to your farm. So the variety is going to bring you the, the yield that you you uh, you intended to to have after your uh your production. So as they say, this is giant breed or giant variety then you have to make sure that whenever you you want to plant first you maybe if you go to buy the seeds those certified seeds look at the appearance of the uh mother mother plant looking maybe mother plants production like if you see the paper on the on the uh on that subject of seeds you know that oh it they, they will be looking like this so you determine you determine and you have to know the um, the variety ability yes like it has more yields or how is it going to be harvested like only one harvesting or long-term harvesting is very important for that <laughs> 